Welcome to the board. In this board, we will discuss main mode filterings, main median mode filterings, and morphological imaging. Uh, for the main mode uh, median filterings, we need uh, the basic information about uh, uh, noise. So, something uh, what is a noise involved, where we use the noise why we are using the noise and what is the expression to include and to remove the noise within the image we have to discuss uh, so for that first we have to uh, know the basic thing what is image restoration so the image restoration means it is a recovery of an image that has been degraded by using a prior knowledge of the degradation phenomenon so in an image uh, some prior knowledge we need to impose within here 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 somewhere okay so suppose we are adding that prior knowledge some image up uh, on that place within that place will be degraded because a higher priority knowledge is included there so uh, obviously uh, the original one placed within there will be degraded that is prior one so this is degraded one so that degradation phenomenon we have to recover for some uh, other purposes for some other applications then it is a image restoration so the model uh, the degradation and applying the inverse process in order to recover in order to recover the original image okay that is image restoration what is the model of image degradation or restoration process see this is the model of image degradation and restoration process this is our input image f of x y you know this uh, the, our input image is represented with the f of x comma y x is a coordinate y is a y coordinate two dimensional now we are applying degradation function degradation function is represented with the capital h so that is uh, appended added with the sum g of x comma y and we are appended that with the degradation function is appended with some noise noise is represented with the n of n x comma y means this noise is applying upon x comma y because input uh, is a x comma y then the h degradation function appended with the noise giving g of x comma y okay then this is involved into restoration filter this is uh, then uh, model is uh, getting involved into restoration model then finally we are getting the restored uh, uh, restored degraded image this is the model so here h is the degradation function additive noise is the n of x comma y then in that process uh, suppose uh, if h is linear position invariant it is not a position variant it is an in position invariant process then the degraded image is given in the spatial domain okay in the spatial domain it is represented by g of x comma y is equivalent to uh, we are uh, uh, specifying the expression h of x comma y star f of x comma y plus noise additive noise n of x comma y and so this is the in the spatial domain suppose it is in the frequency domain okay frequency domain then our model of the degraded image is given by 
g of u comma v is equivalent to h of u comma v f of u comma v plus noise of u comma v if it is in a frequency domain now i'll explain some types of noises what are the noises where we generate it so the noise sources where the noise is generated what is the source of noise to add so here we added it to the function some noise we have to additive uh, adding the noise so from where we have to add what are the noise sources so the principal sources of noise in digital images arise during image acquisition or an image transmission from the image acquisition and from the image transmission uh, we can get the principal sources of the noise so in the image acquisition for example we can get the noise sources like a uh, light levels sensor temperatures etc and in the transmission of the image we can get the noise additive noise uh, lightening or atmospheric disturbances in wireless networks okay and now we define what is a noise model so the noise model is a white noise model gaussian noise uh, really noise so what is white noise it is generated by the fourier spectrum of noise and this fourier spectrum of noise is a constant this is white noise means fourier spectrum of noise is a constant then with the exception of a spatially periodic noise we assume noise is independent noise is independent of spatial coordinates and noise is uncorrelated with respect to the image itself it is uncorrelated not correlating uncorrelated with respect to image itself so noise is uncorrelated with the image itself and noise is independent of spatial coordinates what are spatial coordinates our spatial coordinates are for the input image x comma y for the output image u comma v and so on so this is white noise then coming to the gaussian noise it is the model by the electric circuit noises sensor noises and this uh, the electric circuit noise and sensor noise due to poor illumination and our uh, high temperatures okay in this way gaussian noise and this gaussian is very important in the deep learning also and relay noise means it is a uh, uh, range imaging this uh, within the range of image uh, we will get some noise this uh, somewhere we can find we can add the range of noise range of image <clears throat> now so somehow the basic thing of noise we came to know now we are defining mean filter what is meant by mean filter uh, before going into a discussion of mean filter uh, first uh, we have to see which is gaussian noise so gaussian noise we can express as uh, so whenever we want to add additive adding a gaussian noise then this is the expression we have to use there 
So this is the expression of probability density function of a Gaussian random variable Z. So here Z is a random variable. We are calling it as a Gaussian random variable. Okay, and this is applying upon the probability density function. And we are expressing, giving that equation P of Z probability density function on Gaussian random variable is equivalent to 1 pi root 2 pi variance into exponent e power minus Z minus Z inverse whole square by 2 into variance square. Okay, so here Z represents the intensity value and Z inverse is the mean average value of the uh, intensity value and this is standard deviation. Now, we also have another type of uh, noise which is uh, impulse noise. We commonly, uh, popularly, we are calling the impulse noise as salt and pepper noise. So, how we define the salt and pepper noise? So, the probability density function of bipolar impulse noise is given by, means the salt and pepper noise is given by, probability density function p of z is equivalent to p of a for z is equal to a and you know z is the intensity value and p of b for z is equal to b and zero otherwise. So here a condition if b is greater than a gray level b will appear as a light dot while level A will be appear like a dark dot. Okay. So, if either P A P B is 0, impulse noise is called unipolar. Okay. So, if uh, gray level, if B is greater than A, gray level B will appear as a light dot. Uh, while level A uh, will appear as a dark dot. Now I'll show you noise included images. See, so uh, this is, uh, these are the noise included ones and these are the histograms of uh, corresponding noise included images. Okay, so this is the Gaussian uh, noise. So, upon the original image, Gaussian uh, noise is uh, added, then this is the output of Gaussian noise. The histogram for Gaussian noise we can get in this way. And this is a really noise. When, uh, see, uh, when we apply Gaussian noise and when we apply Rayleigh noise, see the difference. And this is the gamma noise included one. And corresponding histogram is this one. And when uh, we apply the adding exponential, then this is the resultant one, exponential noise. And if you apply uniform noise, this is the resultant one. And these are the corresponding histograms. Uh, these are generating. And when we apply salt and pepper, salt and pepper impulse noise, this is the histogram and this is the resultant one. Okay, now uh, we will see the main filtering, spatial filtering. So, what is meant by spatial filtering, mean filter? Suppose let S of x, x comma y represent the set of coordinates in a rectangle sub image window of size m by n centered at x comma y 
means x comma y are coordinates set of coordinates and uh, in a coordinates in a rectangle sub image so suppose this is the image then uh, uh, among that image a rectangle we are taking then within this some set of coordinates are there then we are choosing the center coordinate center coordinate okay and this window size rectangle window sub image size it m is represented with m by n and the centered image is represented a centered coordinate is represented with x comma y then we are defining the arithmetic okay arithmetic mean filter is f of x comma y is equal to 1 by m by n sigma s comma t belongs to s x y of g of s t these are uh, the sub image coordinates and this is the arithmetic mean filter and now see the geometric mean filter. So geometric mean filter we are defining with the pi of s comma t belongs to this is sigma. Here the geometric arithmetic is sigma. Geometric means pi. Uh, s comma t belongs to s of x y g of s comma t whole power 1 by n. Here this is multiplied and this is uh, power and generally a uh, geometric mean filter achieves smoothing comparable to the arithmetic mean filter but it tends to lossless image details in the process lossless image details in the process so which is better than this and next Harmonic filter. What is meant by harmonic filter? Arithmetic filter, geometric filter, now harmonic filter, which is m n by sigma s of t of s, uh, s comma t belongs to s of x y, 1 by g of s comma t. It works well for salt noise. Harmonic is work well for salt noise but fails for pepper noise so it does well also with the other types of noises like a gaussian noise now see uh, the filterings so this this is the x-ray image this is the x-ray image so and this is the uh, image Corrupted by the Gaussian, Gaussian noise. Okay, then the filter applied upon the Gaussian noise corrupted image, an arithmetic 3 by 3, an arithmetic 3 by 3, me filter is applied. Okay, arithmetic. Additive Gaussian noise, uh, we applied arithmetic. Then this is the resultant one. And suppose we are applying geometric filter, mean filter, geometric mean filter, then this is the resultant one. Okay, so compare these two, observe these two. Next, other types of uh, filters, spatial filters are. All the statistic filters, all the statistic filters are median filters, max filter, mean filter. How we define median filter? So it is the median of g of s t, where s t belongs to s of x y. Max filter is ma median means median. We are applying max means max. We are applying of G of S T where S comma T belongs to S X Y. Mean filter means we are applying mean. Then mean of uh, G of S comma T S comma T belongs to S X Y.
and now we will discuss morphological image processing so morphological image processing then what is morphology morphology means it is a branch of biology that deals with the form and structure of animals and plants okay so morphology means it is a branch of biology that deals with it is dealing with the forms and structure of animals and plants so it is giving the structure information the for how to for they are forming uh, the sub structures all the uh, details of the animals and plants it is uh, comes under the branch of biology which is called morphology and morphological image processing is used to extract image components for representation and description of regions what kind of regions shapes such as boundaries skeletons and the convex hull so in this way we will use the morphological image processing the morphological image processing is extracting the components of the image which are representing and which are describing the region shapes such as boundaries skeletons and the convex hull and to do this morphological image processing we need to know some basic thing basic preliminaries what are those basic preliminaries which is a reflection what is meant by reflection how we define a reflection the reflection of set b denoted by the capital letter b uh, is defined as you know the set is defined like this w such that w is equal to minus b for b belongs to the set b okay so this b is already the set element b and the w is equal to minus b w such that the w is equal to minus b this is the set representation you know this is a reflection of the set of the set to b then another preliminary we need for the morphological image processing is the translation so the translation of set b by point z that z is a, a represented z1 comma z2 and which is denoted by b of z so the set b is the set b is denoted by the z point so b of z is defined as set c such that c is equal to b plus z for b belongs to b so the b is belongs to the set b and here we are the set c is such that c is equal to b plus z this is translation and this is reflection so uh, what kind of operations this uh, translation and reflection are giving means see this uh, example reflection uh, uh, this is the set original set b and its reflection is this one okay its reflection is the this one this is the reflection of the set to be and this is the translation of a, at the point z so uh, to the point z this is translated 
so see here the z point is here okay the z point is here so uh, uh, with to this z this b is translated to this z point okay and it is reflected in here this is translation property and now another preliminary uh, operation we need for the morphological image processing which is a structure element simply se structure element means small sets or sub images used to probe probe means um, uh, we check or we examine or we investigate so uh, small sets or sub images we are using to investigate or to examine means probe an image under study for properties of interest what are the pro we be interested properties from the image we have to examining and checking and investigating on that image for our interested uh, properties how by taking small sets and using small sub images of the image which is a structure element we have to extract them small sets and we have to extract sub images from the image this is structure elements how we use this structure elements csc here is an example uh, see uh, examples of structuring elements so this is the origin this is uh, converted into a rectangular okay this is converted into a rectangular rectangular element so this is structured converted into rectangular array and the dots this is converted into rectangle this is converted into structured elements array okay so these dots are denoting the center of the structure elements all these are the sc center of the structure elements and see this uh, uh, this is a set uh, which is uh, uh, shaded squares uh, are the members of the set all these are the set members then see this one this is a structuring element here our structuring element is this one this is the center point then this set is padded with the background element to form a rectangular array provided by the background border so this is the uh, entire structuring element when its origin is on the border of the origin set this is for this is formed as a structured array element uh, structured as a rectangular one by the ba background background border background border okay then uh, each location of the origin of b uh, is completely contained uh, the a okay uh, and uh, completely contained the a and the location is uh, a member of the new set otherwise it is not a member of the new set then the origin of b is uh, the element of each element of this one okay so this is the processed structure element this is the processed structure element okay this is the structure about the structure element so uh, we uh, basic things those are for the morphological image processing now we comes erosion what is meant by erosion now 
uh, see the erosion what is meant by erosion actually what is the meaning of the erosion erosion is the geological process in which earthen materials are worn away and transported by natural forces such as wind or water it means it is a similar process uh, weathering breaks down or dissolves rocks uh, but it is it does not involve movement means it is an a negative effect okay so with that negative effect uh, the fact of a good quality or situation is gradually lost or destroyed the good quality is destroyed or good uh, situation is lost that is erosion and uh, from morphological image processing see and observe it is using the set theory okay it is using the set theory now see uh, how we can er define the erosion see uh, with the a and b as a sets two sets in z square the erosion of a a and b denoted by uh, symmetric difference this is the symbol for the symmetric difference so it is denoted by the a symmetric difference of b and is defined as set of z such that b of z is such that which is subset or equivalent to a okay this is the set for the symmetric difference which is the erosion expression and the set of all points z such that b translated by z is constrained by a we can define that as a symmetric difference of b is equivalent to set of z such that b of z is intersection of a complement which is equivalent to null phi value null value the intersection operation giving the result null value phi value okay this is the erosion expression then i'll show some examples of results when we apply erosion the set theory formula this is an example c the uh, this is set a and if you see a uh, square structuring element of uh, b this is the b this is a square structuring element then the erosion of a and b these two erosions sets symmetric difference uh, is uh, shaded here okay this is the erosion uh, a symmetric difference of b and elongated structuring element for this one is this one and erosion of a and b using this element using this element and means this and this is a uh, dotted by the uh, dotted lines this is the border giving that uh, uh, combination okay so this is the erosion operation this will uh, giving the application i'll show this up, uh, by applying upon an image see here so using erosion to remove image components all these components we want to remove subtract the sub images sub parts so this is the image of 486 by 486 binary image of a uh, wire bond mask then see 
this is a uh, this image and this image and this image are eroded using square structuring elements of sizes 11 by 11 this is 11 by 11 and this is 15 by 15 this is 15 by 15 and this is 45 by 45 respectively. So the elements of the structure elements are all set to 1. This is the final output. In this way we can process, we can apply erosion. That is the output we will get from the erosion. And now see dilation. Now see dilation. So, what is uh, the meaning of the dilation means uh, it is the process of enlargement or a stretching or a expansion. So, here uh, uh, to enlarge an image, to stretch an image, to expand an image, we apply dilation which is also depending upon the set theory. So, suppose uh, we are defining this dilation with A and B as a sets in Z square. The dilation of A by B denoted as A plus circle B and is defined as set Z such that B of Z intersection of A is a not equal to null, not equal to 5 means the intersection operation of B of Z and A are having some element not equal to null. Okay. So, this is the definition. And the set of all displacements of Z uh, that translated B and A overlap by at least one element which is defined as Z such that B of Z intersection A is a subset or equivalent to A. Okay, this is the dilation expression. Now see an example for the dilation. See here an example. So uh, see this is the set to A and this is the set to B. So this is the square structure element. Okay, so the dot uh, denotes the origin, this dot. And the dilation of A and B is uh, showing in this, the dilation of A and B. And suppose if you elongated the structure element, then this is the elongated structure element. Then the dilation of A using element the dotted border uh, is the boundary set. This is the boundary set of A. Okay. With reference to uh, a image shown here. And another example. See. See. Uh, these are, this, in this sample text, the poor resolution text uh, is this one. Okay. So, the L, when we enlarge. Uh, magnify the characters then the poor uh, resolution one is broken one see here the broken one so when we structuring the element this with this this is the structuring element se apply dilation with this then see here the segments the broken segments were joined and enlarged okay so this is the result we will get by the dilation now see uh, the duality set the duality so uh, we already observed that erosion and dilation are duals each other with respect to set complementation and set reflection by the complement set complementation and by the reflection 
erosion and uh, dilation are duels each other. Uh, we can say the uh, erosion of complement is equivalent to a complement of plus circle B. And here A plus circle B whole complement is equivalent to A complement uh, symmetric difference of B. This is the duality. And we can also define this duality more clearly of erosion and uh, dilation with respect to set complement and reflection as uh, C. Uh, here uh, we derived how from here to here how we got okay and here also we derived from duality uh, we derived the duality of this how we derived this to this by these two steps and in this board Uh, we discussed the noise, we discussed the noise, mean, median filters, morphological image processing, erosion, dua dilation, duality. Okay, and I'll show, I'll explain this uh, more clearly. Uh, so, uh, yes, symmetric difference of B complement is uh, defined with this one z such that b of z subset are equivalent to a whole complement because this is whole complement so whenever we apply whole complement this will become as b z intersection of uh, a complement which is not which is equivalent to null which is also we defined in the definition of the erosion then by these two b of z is uh, in a complement which is not equivalent to phi because we performed the complement uh, operation then we got this uh, a of uh, complement plus circle with the b in the similar way here also uh, b of z intersection with the a is not equivalent to phi this is we defined uh, for the dilation which is whole complement whole complement so by the whole complement and uh, we already defined this we have checked intersection here yeah, a complement is equal to phi the complement applied here then this is simplified as a complement of symmetric difference of B. Okay. See you in the next board.